Loki Akai wants to know if you think that you will dive further into metallurgy or smithery, mm. speaking of blacksmithing. Oh, that was a very convenient question, considering yeah. how much we talked about it. <laughs> um, it's a little bit of the issue we talked about. Like, we've done yeah. things that we can do feasibly in our workshop. Yeah. I think we would require, a, like, a rougher space, mm. something that could stand up to, like, metal dust and, and hard, like, more sturdy tools yeah. for that. Um, but I see now that you do quite a lot in here, actually, mm. in not a very huge space. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I guess there is possibility of, of looking more into it. Yeah, I think um, like if the right project idea comes to mind, we'll dive into yeah, it. Yeah, whatever I the think. project needs, yeah. usually. Do you guys have a, an anvil that you love? We have an anvil that we hate. <laughs> So this is this is something that took me about ten years to get around to getting rid of rid of the anvil mm. I hated and mm. got an anvil I liked. This is not an anvil I love. Mm. It's in fine shape, um, but uh, you can do so so much. I was also considering in my head about getting an induction heater. Mm. Oh yeah, for metalwork. Yeah. Mm. Right, because it localizes everything. I don't have to heat up ga hot yeah. gases and flames yeah. and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. And then. Because we have a, a small induction heater, I think, yeah. but that's for casting, not for. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. for the crucible. Yeah, yeah. for the crucible. Is it uh, hammering red hot soft metal is one of the most pleasurable things. It is something it that I plan to do a lot nice. somewhere later in yeah. life. So that's a thing we probably should try yeah. out. Yeah. And welding is something we haven't done much of. Something, yeah. Something true, that, true. that welding is something I almost never do in here because I'm absolutely terrified of it. Okay. Right. Because okay. the spray is dust. Yeah. Mm. The spray is metal sparks, yeah. and I have dust everywhere. Um, I have a TIG welder which I am terrible at using, but in one of my other plans is to bring in a, a, someone to teach me how mm. to use it. Because TIG welding puts out very few right. sparks. Mm. Um, it's just very uh, precise in what it needs. Yeah. But it seems like a super just useful skill to have. Because yeah, it opens it. up oh, a whole yeah, new world. Oh, yeah, because if you can TIG weld, you can do all the metal. Yeah. Exactly. Right? It's not yeah. just one metal. And I love MIG welding because it's a hot glue gun with yeah. steel. I know. That would be so funny. It looks so nice. I mean, and now for like $300, you could do that. Yeah, no. Welders have gotten stupid cheap. And not are that they, those are good. But are they good? Oh, that's, yeah. <laughs> Do they weld? <laughs> the the very first thing, I, when I was about 26, I got a small inheritance from my grandmother. And I bought a welder with it. And I bought my first Lincoln welder that ran off house power. Uh, and yeah, I ended up building my first business, making store fixtures with that really? one tiny oh, welder. Really? Yeah, That's I made, cool. I made 300 hangers for a bridal store. <laughs> Well, oh, like your hangers. First, yeah, yeah, hangers. So first business plan. the bend, and I'm doing it in cold roll. I'm doing it in cold roll steel, oh. so it's just. Uh, by the end of the first day, my thumb was numb just from turning. <laughs> this is the kind of things you do in your twenties. Um, let's see here. Um, oh, uh, lazy but wise. What a great username. Lazy but wise says, "How many projects, or is there one in particular that got scrapped?" Because it wasn't good oh. enough. Any project make it to the Hall of Shame? I don't, in the recent days, I don't think so. No. I think we're when we commit to it, we are committed. Yeah. And you're going to show warts and all. Yeah. You're going to yeah. talk about the whole process. If yeah. it doesn't turn out, you're going to know. Because yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we, are, we are completely sunk in cost on the video. Oh, yeah. And we, <laughs> like, we have a deadline. <laughs> right. So like, it's going, going out, out whether it's crap or uh, not. So <laughs> you can say sometimes thing doesn't turn out the way we wanted oh, it. Yeah. Sure, We're still sure. going to complete it. Yeah. yeah. Um, but there has been in the past, of course, learning to do making things, learning to do YouTube videos. All yeah. those. Right. There right. are things that we have thrown away. And that happens. Like, yeah. that happened. But now but it's, it's been yeah. a long while, I think, that we've done any sort of project and we haven't, or we've scrapped if we the are, idea. Yeah, if we are unsure, I think, at this point, we are going to try it out before we commit to it. And then yeah. just yeah. It's like yeah, right. figure yeah. out a little enough. exploratory. Yeah. Exactly. Totally do yeah. that. Yeah. Um, I have a more specific question, uh, and it regards some of my practice here. Uh, obviously, like you, I want to show warts and all. Mm -hmm. I want to I be honest with my audience, radically honest. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I want them to take the inspiration that there's nobody that is insulated from screwing up, right? That it's not even just part of the process, it's intrinsic to the process. Mm. At the same time, there's still sometimes I can't have the camera running. Right. Yeah. That there's is, still yeah. some kinds of work in which I need to be totally alone. And I'm curious mm. about what that split might be for you guys. And if it's the oh, same yeah. split or... I, I think, yeah. honestly, 
90% of the time the camera is not running. Yeah. If we're shooting for a month and that amount of footage would just be it's, oh, sure. too it's much. Ridiculous, so a lot yeah. of things happen. Uh, but usually, if we see something's going to happen, we try to turn it on. Yes. Or if it happened, we can backtrack and talk about it. Yeah. But sometimes things are just lost and we right. forgot about it. But I'm curious specifically, though, around like where you're like, I cannot work if I'm also thinking about being oh. in camera. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I feel like that happens quite a bit. Uh, especially when it's like we're approaching a deadline mm -hmm. and I'm getting stressed out. It's yeah. like it, the, the threshold for turning on the camera gets higher and higher right. uh, a little bit. Like I, I, I want to uh, to show like the struggling parts and everything. So because uh, I think it's nice for people to see also of the course. struggle of it. So I, I, I try to like push myself to do that. But there's definitely times where uh, things are not going the way they should. And it's like it's, it's harder to turn it on, the for sure. We do two types of shooting video, basically. Mm -hmm. We have the talking headshots, mm -hmm. but we do a lot of time-lapsing. Yeah. Right, and right, so right. the camera is always running Somewhere. in some way. Yeah. Yeah. So the time-lapse right. can be there. Yeah. Right. And uh, we could time-lapse for four or five days, mm -hmm. and that could be 20 seconds in the video. Yeah. Sure. And that days you don't have to talk to the camera, yeah. or, or I have to talk to the camera. And those are more like focused days yeah. usually. Yeah. Yeah. What we sometimes do is if something happens during that time, we can pop on later with a green screen mm. and talk over the footage. Yeah. Just make it fun and right. like this happened and whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa. Then we can at least just film in the moment what it looks like and then yeah. we can explain what's actually yeah. happening <laughs> later. <laughs> I'm uh, sure, I'm sure all three of our editors have had experience <laughs> of hearing me in the next room going, <laughs> 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 There's always bound to be some moment, yeah. though. Norm, uh, Norm just looked away when I said that. Like, oh, no, that's never what happens. You're talking about. Don't talk to me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but it's a fascinating one to me, right? Because I, I find it's not that I'm embarrassed about what mm. the audience might see. It's that I just need that part of my brain not occupied by yeah. knowing this is running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I totally get that. Yeah, especially when. I don't know. I, I I get deeply attached to the things we make. Like mm -hmm. it's it, it, so much so that I shouldn't be so personally attached to this thing. <laughs> but uh, so I take it very personally when it doesn't go right. Yeah. And so I get mad. <laughs> yeah. I get really mad at the thing. And then it's like if I have to like even just talk to people at that moment, I'm like, <laughs> get out. <laughs> I I am not in a good mood right now. So no, I. I <laughs> I'm I totally can't. cursed at the thing. You, <laughs> you, I cannot believe you're doing this to me. You. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to quote this to you. I think this is a reasonable place to wrap up. Uh, the great Italian filmmaker Fellini said that he knew one of his movies was almost finished when he completely despised it. <laughs> <laughs> that is beautiful. But oh. by the same token of what you just said, I feel the same way that people say, what's the best thing you've ever worked on? And I'm like, it's always what I'm working on right now. That is, That's what that, has 100% yes. of my heart it is. and my brain in it. Yeah. Yes. That's it. Totally true for us as yes. well. I love that. Yeah. Isn't I, and, and just to, uh, first of all, doing this channel is its own amazing grace and our team, we're having so much fun bringing others in to talk about and share these experiences that also find and it's such an honor to spend some time with you guys thanks it's for it's so nice that you open up your you. workshop for us yeah, yeah, absolutely very nice to be here we're awesome. colleagues yay finally we have colleagues yeah. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> what's the norwegian word for colleague <laughs> collega collega for Kulega. Kulega. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Not so different. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, we'll include links to the relevant stuff in the descriptions below. Um, and we will see you all next time. Take good care of each other. Farewell, friends. Farewell, friends. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I wanted to briefly mention that you could become a tested member. I know everybody is competing for you to become a member of their thing. What I want to express to you is that the Tested membership has become such an important part of the Tested family. We get tremendous feedback from the Tested members and they expand the stories that we can tell and the things that we have access to. And you can become a part of it right now by clicking on the link below. See you in the chat.